Hey everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's topic, how to get rid of smoke smell in the car. The answer is use the ozone generator, but which one to use? There are a lot of different ones. You definitely want to pick something that's definitely strong enough. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon when you want to be notified of new videos, and I really appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, let's do some prep work over here as we enter the vehicle. Open glove compartment, move sun visor down, and lift the headrest. Definitely want the ozone to reach the back so you don't want the headrest to block anything. You might want to put the armrest down in the back as well. Notice the headliner is the area that has the most exposure to smoke. As we get into the vehicle, definitely you want to start the vehicle, turn it on, start. Once it started, you want to turn on the circulating air, which I have right now. Then also hit the high button. Hold the highest possible on the air. Notice I have the glove compartment open as well too. I'm going to explain that a little bit later. I also have any cup holders open as well. So you want the ozone to go through around the vehicle. You can see the headrest. I have reasonably high up, then again, you can make it more higher if you like. The most important thing is actually have recirculating and also the fan high. All right. So the concentration of smoke is around this area over here. And that's the most, that's the most important area to concentrate on. You can see in the back. All right, a little bit more on the glove compartment I want to mention. The glove compartment definitely remove the pollen filter. And you might want to even take it all out when you're doing this test. So I'm going to prep this up. Of course, leave this open. Okay, a little bit on the device I'm using right here. I have this uh, best ozone generator called Bio 3 Home Edition. So it comes with a timer. It comes with a hook, so you can use for household purposes as well. It comes with the hose, and also it comes with the manual. It's a modified vacuum, so it comes with all the previous tools for cleaning. And and again, you know, it shouldn't be in your car when you're doing this thing. But the mask is going to clean the headliner when it be inside, I guess. So it's a modified shot rod like I mentioned. So the fan is very strong, and the thing blows really nice air. So the ozone generator part is in the vacuum. So it's at 10,000 milligrams per hour. That's what the manufacturer specification is. A lot of different models. I tried different models, the cheap ones from other brands under 100 from eBay. Those don't really work unless it's a really small job because you don't have enough power to blow the ozone into the vehicle. So that's the main thing. You want something strong enough that definitely helps put the ozone into the vehicle. Now I connected the hose, as you can see, there's only two ends, so it's very simple. The most round end is the one you put in the vehicle. Okay, so to do that, you wanna put a towel blocking anything, blocking all air, then you put the hose on the corner. So make sure it's nice tight fit. For the unit, I actually put it on the stool to hold it. You can use a chair as well. So keep in mind, you don't want to have a lot of air coming in. So unit works really well. Make sure the hoses are tight. It came off on me one time, so I had to do this. And remember, you might want to run this for 30 minutes, okay? Don't do more than 30 minutes. You might want to do a number of sessions before this thing completely get rid of the smoke smell or masses it in a way. So pretty much gonna end up doing round two. I had to do round two as well too. So that's the unit I use. I honestly don't use the hook. I don't use the timer. I just use my iPhone or any phone. If you have Android phone as well too, that will work. But they do include a timer as I mentioned earlier. 
Hey, I just want to mention and make sure you have your vehicle in the on position with the air recirculating a high. Otherwise, you defeat the whole purpose of this whole exercise because you want the air to recirculate inside the vehicle and clean the air system, not including the, the all the different materials, headliner, the seats, and everything from the smoke smell. So your vehicle definitely has to be on and idle for this to work. Keep in mind, after two hours, or you aired it out for two hours, you can get back in and see if the smell went away. If not, you need to repeat the, the process again for another 30 minutes. This is the best unit I could find. I'm not endorsing them or anything. Hopefully this helps you out. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.